Victorian boots are cute. Aren't they exciting? They're oh my a little God, how high up do they get? Yeah, well, cute. they're like, they go up to here. I love then, your tattoos as well. Oh, thank you. You can see um, Abraham Lincoln's forehead and George Washington's forehead. I love, what is the significant, what was the idea? Um, Cause it costs $6 to spread them. <laughs> God. I can never raise the oh, price. Oh my God. You win for best tattoo <laughs> ever. Oh my God. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. So there's no segue, but like for summer, <laughs> do you do anything? Did y'all ever do like family vacations growing up? Well, I um, would go to <laughs> Hawaii with my family yeah. um, for, uh, you know, just for summer and stuff. And so, you know, the but the, the thing is I travel so much for my work that now I really love to stay home. Staycation. Staycation. Mm -hmm. I have um, a, a garden of carnivorous plants. Yeah. So plants that eat mm -hmm. bugs. Yes. So I just watch them. <laughs> it's, like, it's so fun. That is so messed up. I love it. And then, you know, you have like, you just have like so, such a busy life. So it's like yeah. great to just be home and do nothing. And then yes. I have a bathtub now in my backyard. Yes. Which is, what? it's kind of like an above ground oh pool. Oh my but gosh. It's just, let's see, it's like there's a hot glue. I was putting out some things. I, I know it's that. so Bridgerton. It's I'm so like good. Really, yeah. I'm living, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I fill it up with the hose. Yes. And then, <laughs> no, it's really nice. And then I have a, um, I put like a movie screen outside. So I have a couch so I can watch movies and I, so I watch scary movies. Wait, what? At, at night? night? And it's all like kind of woods behind me and it's so scary and it's so fun. You have a very weird idea of what fun is to isn't me. That, isn't that fun though? Like no. when you're like, you don't like scary movies? Nope. I just love it. I don't it. like to be scared. Oh, see, I love scary movies because I'm always thinking the worst thing is gonna happen to me. So when I watch oh scary movies, I can relax. You're prepared. You're prepared. Yeah, because I'm okay. a catastrophic thinker. Okay. Like I like to think, oh, the worst is gonna happen. And I, so it's almost like I pre-feel the emotions. Wait, I do that with certain things, especially when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. I literally, this sounds messed up, but I would go through like the worst case scenario because when I walked in there, I was like, I just want to be prepared if that said to me like what I need to, yeah, I just, want... I don't want it to be the first time that right. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Rehearsing. Yes. Like you're rehearsing yeah. the feelings yeah. so that it won't be such a shock. Yes, but I also think you might be setting yourself up for a Dateline special by going outside at nighttime <laughs> by the woods, naked in a bathtub <laughs> watching a scary well, movie. I mean, but it's all my house. So, and I have, I have okay. like uh, dogs and really mean oh, cats. Oh, you have dogs. See, and they'll, they'll alert you. That's true. Okay. So, you know, it's kind of have like- your Bridgerton moment. I have yes. my animals. I have my carnivorous plants. Yeah. I mean, I have, you know, <laughs> I have, you know, that's, that seems like defense enough. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, so you're you're newly single, so I know what that's like. So do you like having the place all to yourself? Because yes. I enjoy it. I love it so much. Yeah. I love it so much. Like your room, you're like, this is my bed. I yeah. sleep smack in the middle. Yeah. I I don't do that. I, I sleep in the middle, and then I have all my animals around me. Ah. And it's great. All you need is a really crazy high-tech security system, and then you're fine. Like, I exactly. feel like... That's all you need to be safe. Dogs too. You, and dogs. Yeah. And then, but you think that you, you feel you need, you need another person to keep you safe, mm -hmm. but actually no, they're actually the dangerous one. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from inside the house. <laughs> it's coming from inside. You know? Yeah. But isn't it great? Don't you feel uh, so good? You are so fun. <laughs> No, I do, and I used to be um, terrified by, by myself, but now I think because I have two littles like in my mm. house with me, that I'm the mama bear, so I don't get like that. I have dogs right. and a yeah. system, and yeah. So you have to, oh. but you have to be there and not be afraid for them. Yeah, so. you have to act like you're like the power went out the other day, and my kid like freaked out, mm -hmm. and I was like trying to make it all fun, and like da da da, and still he's like, my kid, he got so scarred, y'all. He walks around my house and he turns off the lights every, and he, which I'm like, that's good, like energy efficient, yeah. but he's terrified. He's like, we can't use the, the lights up because they might all go out, and he was like terrified, so. Aww. Yeah, I know, that's actually really sad. I don't know why I said that. Um, <laughs> but you you like to get out sometimes though, because I heard that Harrison Ford, did he did he spill wine all over you once? Well, yeah, I was at a party. party. This is years ago okay. at Carrie Fisher's house. Carrie Fisher and Penny Marshall used to do a joint birthday party every year. Okay. So I went and 
and and Harrison Ford was there. Everybody there was a celebrity. Oh. And it was so weird. I've never been to that party. It was such a yeah. strange, it was like being in like Madame Tussauds because they were all <laughs> famous. Yeah. And it was just like walking in. <laughs> and then Harrison Ford was like walking through with like three glasses of red wine in like little plastic cups. Like, okay. And I mean, he's, he should be able to carry them because he's Indiana Jones and Han Solo. So he should be able to carry three glasses of wine. Down. But he like walked up and he goes, whoa, and he fell and threw all of the wine on me, like all on, and, and, but, it was so, but it was him. You were like, fine. I was like, it's fine. I mean, I, I was kind of really excited. I was really <laughs> starstruck. I was really excited. Was he so embarrassed? He was so embarrassed. And he was like, he had, he got, grabbed a napkin, but it was on my front. And he was like, oh, oh, oh. It's <laughs> like, so can't pat it Didn't down. Didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And it was just the most adorable thing. Oh, I love it. really, that. really sweet. I love that you're like Han Solo, Indiana Jones. What an epic fail. I mean, he could have just <laughs> whipped off the yeah. chain, maybe. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Like, he's just very, it, it was a really exciting, it was one of my favorite celebrity moments. But I that, love that. That was exciting. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of parties, your new movie is called Fire Island. So, yes. which is known for summer parties, right? It's a well, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful place. It's a very gay summer okay. romantic location, and the movie is written by Joel Kim Booster. He stars in it. He's an incredible, incredible comedian, incredible writer, incredible actor. And yeah. Bone Yang stars in it, and Matt Rogers, who's a huge fan of yours. Oh. And we talked like about you already. a lot actually <laughs> on the film, the set, and we had a great time talking about you. And oh. he had actually come with Joel to uh, this show yeah. and stayed backstage and cried in the dressing room because he was just, he loves you so much, oh but he gosh. was so nervous, didn't want to, didn't want to rock the boat. What? I'm like the most like friendly I person. Know. What? Yeah. I wish that he, I, I wish he could be here, but. Oh, but. well next time. Yes. Okay, we need a quick break. You can see Margaret in The Flight Attendant, which I'm so excited about on HBO Max and watch out for Fire Island premiering tomorrow on Hulu.